Uh, hi, I'm Phil Berman. I'm here at the uh, Balance Catamarans Factory, Nexus Yachts in uh, St. Francis. Uh, I'm sitting here underneath one of the Balance 526s uh, that we're about to launch, uh, hole number five. And uh, one of the things that's unique about our company is that we're prepared to do uh, customizations of our boats and different variations for customers that want it. And we've been experimenting a bit with um, high performance mini keels on the boats. Some of our customers um, are more cruising oriented and they don't feel the need to have the dagger boards to increase their upwind ability as much as others. But at the same time, they're very high performance boats and so we didn't want to have keels on them that would just be a big drag on the performance goes upwind and down. So the mini keels that we're doing on the boat have a fairly narrow entry and a very sharp exit um, and they're all foiled so uh, the boat upwind makes very little leeway uh, probably doesn't point quite as high as with the pure dagger boarded boat but it's only a marginal decrease um, and uh, very little wet resistance um, we made a shoe at the bottom of the dagger board so that the boat can rest on its keel uh, if it's in a shipyard as well um, one of the advantages of the, of the keel, I suppose, over the dagger board for, for certain people is that, A, there's no uh, blocks and pulleys, there's not a board to lift and raise. Um, you gain a marginal amount of buoyancy in the boat uh, over the dagger boards, although not a lot because our boards are actually buoyant on these boats. Um, one negative is that uh, the draft goes, we recommend uh, with the dagger boarded boat uh, that at full load we're drawing about four feet with uh, the, the rudder being the lowest point in the boat. With the keels you're pretty much permanently in the four point four foot ten inch to five foot draft range. Um, so you lose about a foot of, um, of draft on the boat uh, with, with the uh, fixed keels. But our feeling here at Balance is that if an individual would like a performance uh, mini keel, we're happy to do them, and a lot of our customers are, are making that choice. The more race-oriented, performance-oriented people are continuing to want to have the uh, dual, dual dagger boarded configuration. Um, there's no right or wrong choice. All advantages are attended with disadvantages, in my view. Oh yeah, one other advantage of the um, keel boat is that we do have more room inside the boat because the trunk goes up through the side of the boat and so you get a little bit more cabinetry space amidships on both hulls as a result of not having the dagger board trunk. So in essence, uh, you, there's pros and cons and it depends upon where you want to land and choice.